Hey guys, Shadow Slayer coming back at you today. And uh, today, actually, we got this in a little bit later. Um, and I didn't actually know it was coming in today. It was the uh, uh, Scarlet and Violet Paradox Rift Pokemon Center Elite Trainer Box. So uh, I did a video earlier on the regular ETB. So um, we're going to do this one just directly afterwards. So uh, we're going to go ahead and, of course, we are going to, I think, skip the... Um, Skip the like the, the set part because uh, we just went over that on the last video. So that's what we're gonna do for this one. We're gonna skip over that, kind of save a little bit of time on it, and uh, we'll go from there. So hopefully, uh, the main reason I'm opening this one because actually um, I found that if and if you guys would like on the Pokemon Center right now, they actually have these up for uh, order. Surprisingly enough, that's the only reason why I'm opening this one is for that very reason so uh ordered a couple other and going to keep those sealed oh look at that that actually side's already open so we're gonna have to count that just to double check make sure we all the contents are there and let's see what we got here i think aha screen tail and then of course we got our energies I was looking for, aha, promo number two. So we've got both the promos in this one. So obviously that's the difference between the regular and those. Is that, I'm going to zoom in. So yeah, so then you get the Pokemon Center one and then the regular that you would get in the normal ETBs. So it's really the only difference. And then of course you get a couple extra things. So, but let's check the packs right here because it's unusual that this flap isn't closed. So we're going to have to check the pack count here. Double check that. Uh huh. So yeah, there's always one extra one hiding in there. And so you, usually it's closed like that when it comes in. But, anyways, so nothing different here. Um, going a little cheap on these, I feel like. The, I mean, the, for the Pokemon Center ones, yeah, they give you an extra pack. But these, uh, these suckers cost 60 bucks a piece. So a lot more expensive than they used to be for one. For two, yeah, you get the extra promo and an extra what two packs i think i don't know if that really you know constitute the cost of that but we'll see anyway so let's go ahead and count the packs here should be 11 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 yep so we got that there sorry i gotta put something on here Okay. Okay, so we're going to rotate these. And uh, let's hopefully we can get something good here. Um, actually, I did end up opening a booster box with, uh, with my buddy. And uh, uh, we, didn't get, we didn't get too great of pulls. So, yeah, unfortunately, that's, uh, that's kind of where we set with that is... Uh, I got. I ended up getting the. Actually, I can show you here, real quick. Um, what I I did get. Uh, oh look at that, Sandy Shocks. Actually, that's. A, I've not seen this card yet. Um, but actually, I'll show you on the. The guide here. That's exactly what we got. So he actually pulled two of these, and I've only pulled one. Um, but. Yeah, because my the booster box I have is downstairs. Um, let's see. Uh, where are you? Where are you? Uh, so we pulled the gimme goal earlier. Where is it? It's a, it was an SIR right there. The Glycopod EX. So that's what I ended up pulling there. About a twenty dollar card, nothing crazy, but you know, for a booster box, you hope to pull a little bit more. So. We'll see here if the uh, the Pokemon Center one is going to be a little different. Uh, the packs feel a little bit different as well. Like that, I don't know, that's been feeling a little interesting there. So, but yeah, we'll see if we get anything good. So, I'm going to take a tough right there. Very nice. These ones feel a little bit more, um, I'm trying to just for the word. Oh, these about, about normal. 
That's weird. Each product feels a little bit different. But the main main one that felt a lot different was the uh, was the blister packs that we opened. So let's see here. Oh, okay, very nice. Actually, I needed this side because I have the other one. This is the other one I got in the booster box. Um, one of the illustrations. So I got I got the set of those. So now that I got the connecting card. Hey, I'll take that. That's good. Something I needed. So we're going to go and we're going to see if, um, I wonder if we can get an SIR out of a, uh, you know, out of one of these, out of the ETBs. Because I think the pull rate for the SIRs are a little bit difficult. And the only way that you're really going to, like, really guarantee yourself one is in a booster box. Now I did break the, did break the mold a little bit and uh, I ended up getting a 13 hit booster box but it was weird because it didn't really give any it wasn't a good hit it was just a regular ex um so it was interesting but yeah so so far the most i've seen pull out of a um out of a booster box is 13 hits so yeah it's um it's a little disappointing um mainly because of how big the set is that they uh you know they would basically telegraph you know how much you're gonna get um granted you know that means you're hitting you know about one third of the boxes is, is gonna hit technically but you know i like to have that little bit of uh extra odds or whatever like they did for uh scarlet and violet base set that those boxes were just broken but they were fun they were fun to open they gave it a a good a good mixture. Whoa, look at that sucker. That is absolutely crushed, man. What the heck happened there? We're going to set him to the side. That is just weird. Man, that is crushed. Well, at least it didn't crush this. Tapo Coco. That is, wow, that is strange, man. Hold on. Let me, let me look at the other parts of the pack here. I don't think any of them were damaged like that. No, none of them were damaged like that. Whew, quality control, man. Look at that sucker. Wow, that is beat the crap. Whew, wow, quality control, man. I mean, I know stuff slips through the cracks ever so often, but man, that is... That is pretty damaged, but you know what? That does not surprise me, because that that uh, that piece not being closed makes the packs go up and down. You know, it doesn't. So basically, having that one thing sealed uh, makes it so the packs, you know, aren't jumping up and down and in, in during shipping and stuff. So I'm actually surprised that not more of the cards are, you know, that severely damaged. Um, we may, we might see a couple more of those just because that, uh, that's what happens, man. That's what happens if it's not properly sealed up. Something like that, you know, a card sticks up just a little too much in a pack and it just absolutely crushes it. I mean, look at that, you know, stuff like that. It's crazy. It, like I said, it may not even been quality control. It may have literally just been just been because of that um but yeah so we got actually wow we we're going through these pretty quick got two packs left here and um i would like i would really like it if we could pull a secret illustration rare from an etb i have yet to pull i think really any big i may i may be wrong in this but i don't think i have pulled a really really solid i mean i pulled some decent stuff but nothing like super crazy Ooh, okay never mind that may have misspoken a raging moon this is like a 24 dollar card right here that's very nice that is a nice card so that's it's weird so we got two fulls one ex and one of those so that would put us at 11 packs of four 
of that. So if we hit five, that's a that'd be a pretty good ratio. Let's see if we can get some last pack magic. We are just gonna go straight through. We are not gonna do the pack trick. We are going to see. Slow roll it. To see if we get anything good. Are we gonna get an SIR? Probably not. Definitely not. Just a regular. All right. So, no SIR. However, um, two full arts, a illustrator rare, and a regular EX. Uh, none of these I have. I don't believe I have any of these. So, I mean, it's technically good that we're getting getting some variety. But um, yeah, man, opened uh, opened quite a bit of product. And uh, we haven't got, we haven't really gotten any really big hits. Two SIRs, uh, mainly only because it's booster box. And uh, ETBs been okay. They've been okay. They haven't been horrible. Not like my usual. But they haven't been, you know, stellar. And then, of course, we have our, our crush card here. Hmm. Yep. That's what you get. But I am surprised not more cards are damaged but since y'all stick around i'll give up a couple more code cards here for you we'll do yeah we'll do what three four code cards something like that that's what we'll do all right there we go all right and of course you know that uh, we're going to try, I think actually what we have coming up here, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! I got some Yu-Gi-Oh! 25th Anniversary uh, Collector's Box. I think that should be coming in the next few days. And that's going to be that's gonna be a good video, I bet. Because we are going to get guaranteed three of those um, collector stamps. And the fact that we, got, we pulled that Effect Veiler today was uh was pretty incredible if you didn't see that go ahead and watch that video prior um that was an awesome card and i will show it here right at the end that 25th anniversary stamped effect veiler that thing was awesome and out of three packs the best that we could do all right guys well i will catch you on the next one and hopefully that'll be soon all right peace